Hey guys, and welcome to episode one of our new His V Hers van build series. As most of you would have seen from our last video, Harry and I have decided to undergo a van build challenge extravaganza. Okay, okay, that's a bit far. But basically, we're going head to head, doing a whole van conversion each. Yeah, we're kind of crazy. My van is a Luton and has a higher budget of £15,000. Whilst my van is a Sprinter and has a lower budget of just £7,500. Both of these prices are including the cost of the van. Also, make sure you remember... This series, you guys decide who's winning by commenting each week whose van is looking in better shape with respect to their different budgets. Not only this, but every comment you submit on each video will count as one entry to win a weekend away in the van of your choice at the end of these builds. So let's get into the first episode. So day one of the van build series is ripping out day, right? Ripping out day, here we go. <laughs> So Harry Sprinter came with two WAM emergency lights on the roof. So being the nice girl that I am, I offered him some help taking them off. Is it working? Almost, almost. Keep staying there. Got yes. it. Woo! Removing the first light was a pretty quick job. The second light, not so much. Oh my god. I didn't want to break my arms. Oh. <laughs> so, little update for you. This light is taking about 10 times longer than we thought it would. We've been here for a good hour probably now. Yeah. Bolts, underside of the van, impossible to get to, boring for you. Boring for us. We'll show you when we get it off. Two hours later. Yeah, baby. Let go. Let go. Yeah. Now editing this first episode, I've come to realise that I have such a wide array of facial expressions. <laughs> So it is the second day and today we are installing our vents in the Luton van. This is something we've got to do together really, it can't just be me doing it by myself because it's kind of like a two man job. But um, we've watched a few videos this morning, we've watched Kira and Alice's videos doing it. It's kind of different doing it on a Luton with a plastic roof, but I think we're ready to go now, so let's do it. So this is kind of the view from up here, this is the top. So because this is plastic, it's actually pretty like unstable. So um, we've put these bits of wood that we've got from the wheel arches of the sprinter van up here as like little knee supports so we can kind of just about get up on here without falling through. But I think for now we need to go back into the Luton and map out where actually we want these vans. So we decided that our smaller hatch van will go near the front of the van above our bed and the bigger electric van will go further down the Luton above the hob. <laughs> say even though the Luton is obviously my van to do Harry has kindly said that he will cut out the little space that will hold our air fan because I'm a bit too short yeah and even though Nick's project managing this van and I'm project managing that van we're still going to help each other obviously yeah. but like this is her design and that's my design wow, It's impossible. Yeah, it's impossible. You're gonna have to come down a bit quicker, babe. My arms fucking left. Let go, babe. No, because I've just got it in the position. Do you know how long it took? Yes, go do time. it then. Just stop talking to me about it. It took so long to do it. Can you just do it? Like what? Chill out. No, my arms hurt. That's why I'm asking you to just do it. <laughs> So yeah, another issue. The frame was made ever so slightly too small. It's stuck on the sticker flex. So I ended up drilling chunks out of the corners so the fan would fit. Now time to seal it with sticker flex from the top side. How's it going up there? I'm full of sticker flex. Full of it? Full of it. 
full of it. You're eating it. It's everywhere. So finally it's the end of the day. Me and Harry have installed two roof vents today. It feels like that's not a lot to do in a whole day, but we're new to this. We've never done a roof vent before. We've got that big electric one and we've got a smaller one. They're both looking pretty good. And I just want to say thank you to Harry for helping me because I wouldn't have done that without him. So we'll see you tomorrow. Let's go on a walk. Come on in. Good boy. Boy. Now, boy. So today is the day where I need to put the solar panels up on my Luton van. Again, today I'm going to ask for Harry's help. Obviously, I will return the favour when he does his solar panel. We are using the Renogy 175 watt solar panels. I'm using two on my Luton, and I think Harry's chosen just to go for one on his sprinter. We've already put the ABS brackets onto the side of the panels, just using some easy drives. So I think now it's just the scary part of actually going up to the top of the roof and sick of flexing it down and screwing it in. Wish me luck. If you can see the shadow there, I think I've placed it pretty well so that all of the corners are on one of those like metal beams that are already part of the Luton. Because I think some of you know that the Luton is obviously made of plastic, like hard plastic the top, so it kind of needed a bit more rigidity to it. So I think that works pretty darn well. So Team Luton over here is up there screwing in our solar panels, having a whale of a time. I'm not, I'm just getting sticky with sick effects right now. And I haven't even got my solar panels in, so I think I've got to get going. Okay. I've only got one solar panel to do. You're smashing it, I've got to catch up a bit. All right, here we go, let me go. Two hours later. What are you thinking? I don't know. <laughs> you don't like not having a decisive female leader, do you? I am a decisive male leader. You're not, you're so Power indecisive. Okay, so it is finally time to get on with a bit of work on my van. I've left Nikki doing her thing over there. And I think what we're gonna start with is a roof vent. Now, the reason I'm gonna pop a roof vent there is because I'm gonna have a window here next to the bed that's gonna go widthways here, kitchen down there. So I want a roof vent above the kitchen to let all the fumes out. But yeah, we'll get more into layout later. Let's just get this done first. Okay, it is now time for some drilling and cutting. I've marked up the hole for my vent, and we're obviously... Dan? Sorry, yeah. And we're obviously gonna be using none other than the finest Ryobi tools. And if you guys want any of these tools, they're all linked down below, they're amazing. We've only used them for like a week so far, but wow, they've outblown any other tool we've ever used. Excuse the bin bag around the face. So whilst Harry is doing his fan and stuff, I have just finished off my solars. So those are positive and negative wires. And I think now I'm just gonna help Harry with his fan a little bit. So yeah, teamwork, but also a challenge and a competition. Wedge it. Yeah. Got it. Okay, now bring it down. What are you doing up there? Oh, yeah. Right, how are you getting on, Mr. Rain? This is really bad. It is raining and we are trying to stick a flex. Don't really know how we're going to get around this one. It might not um, dry properly now. It it's wasn't meant good. to rain. It's quite nice here. That looks very nice. Well done. So it started raining yesterday, didn't it? started raining absolute nightmare yeah so we had to like mid swag on putting our van up uh, your fan in on your sprinter we had to like cover it up with like a dust bin bag um yeah we're gonna see what the damage is today i've still got to put my panel up on my van and i think you're gonna get started on your windows aren't mm -hmm. you oh my god what are the chances of that oh, it's raining again yeah it's just started raining so i was about to say 
We're just about to do the windows for the Luton van and Harry's gonna do one window for his sprinter. I got mine from this lady who originally used these two massive windows for her horse box. So they're like nice big slidey ones which we're gonna put on either side to create like a really nice draft in the Luton. By the way, I got mine for 160 pounds for two windows. So like 80 quid each. They're huge windows. Normally they're on eBay or Amazon. They're like 170 new for a similar size. So per window, I mean. So I think we got them about half price, which is quite good. So although Nikki got hers for what was quite a bargain, I actually got three windows for mine for just £40, which is absolutely crazy. Shout out to Jack. He commented on our video last week. He was the guy that sold us some on Facebook Marketplace. Thanks, Jack. What's very ironic as well is Harry actually found the windows for my Luton and I actually found the windows for his All right, printer. here we go, here we go. So actually, I, I got the deal. Once we cleaned up our windows, Harry got back to his sprinter by installing his solar panel. And in the meantime, I cut a hole for where my first window would be in the Luton. All right, so Nikki shouted me for a hand on her van. So she was like, get the sickle flex, I'm doing the windows. So we got the sickle flex, I sickle flexed it for her. And it was the white sickle flex, not the black sickle flex. And she's a little bit angry at me because it does not it look amazing. Horrible. And we literally went to tool station yesterday together to get black sickle flex for the windows because they're black. And Harry still doesn't understand why I'm not. She's angry. It was great. This is the worst job we've ever done. <laughs> and it's all not going to lie, it's, it's not good for me. Babes, it's your van. Regrets. Regrets asking Harry to help. We'll fix it up. <laughs> so after a cool off and a cup of tea, I continue to do my second window, this time using black Sikaflex. All right, so this, ladies and gentlemen, is how we are resolving the situation. We've had a little scrap off camera. Um, we've come to our senses. We're friends again now. And Nikki, the Sikaflex queen, sorting out her van by putting black Sikaflex over the top of the white Sikaflex. Now it's settled. And then it still we're... doesn't look great, but it will. It will. It will I'll look make great. sure it will be. Shall I give him a little tour of your other window really quickly? Yeah, go for it. This round here is Nikki's other window. She has smashed it. Look at that. Looks pretty good, if you ask me. And look in the back of the van. If you look in the back of the van, look how airy it looks. Whoa. So we're going to be pitching to you each of our layouts, mood boards, floor plans, and any other cool ideas we've each come up with for our vans. And oh my God, am I excited to share my ideas and get your opinions. Because I'm kind of like a Pinterest addict. But you're going to have to wait until next week's video to see all of that. So that's it for this week's vlog. Sorry, it was cut quite short. Harry has a festival to go to this weekend. <laughs> Make sure you pop in the comments who you think is going to win this van build and also remember that gives you a little entry to our giveaway. I mean right now it's obviously hard to call, you haven't seen too much, but use your imagination. So I guess that means we'll see you next Sunday, having had done so much more DIY stuff, right? We're going to be so far by next Sunday, you're really going to be able to see... A huge difference. A huge difference. Massive. Okay, bye, see you next Sunday.